Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! here. I've got some cute little gift card holders to show you today. And I'm going to make one um, a little bit different today. I don't have one made uh, like I'm going to make today. But um, anyway, so let's just jump right in and get started. It's not really a whole lot of announcements this week. Um, we had the free shipping last week and... Of course, we've got the deal going on. If you want to join Stampin' Up!, you can see previous videos. I put links down below for all of the uh, any announcements, my hostess code, and my shop link. Anyway, so today I've got some the gift card holders to show you. I'll show you the first one that I made first. Um, this I made for um, someone that's uh, very special. I need to do a thank you gift card for. And uh, it's a man, so I wanted to make it sort of masculine. So this is super cute. I made um, the background here with the trucking along, and um, also I didn't get the I didn't get anything out that I made this with. Um, this is the Earth and Essence Ele Elegance, I think, uh, DSP, and of course I made the background as well. Um, I'll put the links below to the products I used for this. Um, so it's super cute. It's got the little belly band here. You just slide this off and you open it up and there's your little gift card. And um, you can stamp something up here as well if you'd like or just leave that for writing. And uh, it's super cute and it's really, really easy and quick to make. So this is going to be great for the holidays coming up. And so that's why I wanted to do this card, uh, this video for these gift card holders. So um, this was the first one that I made. And then I decided I wanted to make some Christmas ones. So um, I did something a little different. I did these two. All right. Um, instead of putting a belly band, I put a little Velcro dot. All right. Um, these are a little too thick, but they work. Um, I didn't get them out. I actually got them at Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Um, let me see. I got the package right here. Um, they're right here. They're, um, I don't see, I don't think they say well, how thick they are, but you can kind of see that they're a little bit thick. It makes this stand out a little bit. Um, you can see that, how thick that is. So it's a little too thick, but I thought, you know what? A gift card, they're going to take the gift card out, and this is getting tossed. I'm sorry to say, a lot of people are just going to throw them away. Some people will recycle them and use them again, but um, most likely it's going to get thrown out. So I said, you know what, I don't care, I'm going to use these anyway. So um, that was the second one I did. Um, I think they turned out really cute, and I don't mind that sticking up a little bit. Um, I think it's okay. Um Anyway, so then the second one I used, I did use a retired product for this one because I wanted it really cute. So I used these little mice from um, one of the old stamp sets, and I think these turned out really cute. Um, so same thing, belly band, and you just open it up. Um, so these are my Christmas ones. All right. So here's these Christmas. So today I'm going to make a birthday one. Um, it's going to be completely different. I don't have one made. So you are kind of on the fly with me today. Um, I did do some ahead of time, some of the things ahead of time. So it's not completely on the fly. I know what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, so today I'm going to use the bright and beautiful DSP. Um, this has got a lot of birthday prints. If you haven't seen, I'm sure you've seen it by now, but, um, it's got a lot of um, birthday prints. And so I'm going to use this. And um, I'm also going to use the balloon from Celebrate with Tags and the happy birthday from Darling Details. All right. And I've already got these stamped, so I'm not actually going to use them today. But these are the products that I've got. And then, of course, the deckled rect um, circle dies. I'm using those as well. So let me show you what you need. So we need, uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me just tell you, this This idea um, I got from a lady named Jackie over at 
klompenstampers.com. I got it off her blog from a couple years ago. So I will put the link below to her blog post about these gift card holders. Hers are completely different because, of course, they were from products from two years ago. So um, they are different, but it's the same. It's the same one with the belly band. Okay. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to mention that um, her link is below um, if you want to check that out. Um, so I am going to show you here what we need. Okay. So I'm using Misty Moonlight today. Um, whatever cardstock you use, um, you need three and a half by eight and a half, and you score it and fold at two and at six. All right. Now on hers, she said to do two and then flip it around and do two and a half. Some people have a hard time with some of that and it doesn't seem to line up right, but I think for this card, it's fine to do both sides. So two and six um, inches that we want to do. Then we need another piece of Misty Moonlight for the belly band, which is one by nine. All right, and then we're going to use another Misty Moonlight for the circle, which is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, let me just show you real quick these deckle dies here. These are the two that I am using. These are the fifth and sixth to the smallest. And I think these are the ones I always use on cards, but let me just check again. I think it's um, two and a half and two and three quarters. And yeah, so it's almost about two and a half for the small one. And then about two and three quarters for the bigger one, okay? So this Misty Moonlight piece is to cut the bigger circle out um, for the... Uh, mat behind the sentiment okay and then we need a piece of white that is about two and three quarters by two and three quarters to do the stamping and cut the smaller circle out all right and then um, we need another piece of basic white for the inside two and a quarter by three and a quarter and then our DSP we need two pieces one is for the top which is a little larger that one is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then the bottom is a little smaller and that's one and three quarters by three and a quarter. All right, so that is what we need to get started on our uh, card. I am going to, um, the ink I'm using today is Granny Apple Green that I stamped the balloon and Misty Moonlight. And what I did, I already did this, so let me just show you. So um, this is going to eliminate these two pieces because I did it ahead of time. So I cut my larger circle out of the Misty Moonlight. All right. And I stamped the balloon and the happy birthday on the white and cut it out. Um, what I did is I put this in my Stamparatus. So if you have a stamping platform, this works um, better. Um, because what I did is I took my um, stamp and write basic black marker and I colored over the stem, uh, not stem, um, the string, and I stamped the string until I got it to the desired look I wanted. And then I just inked up the balloon part and stamped that until I got it dark enough. So that's what I did. So if you have a stamping platform, um, that's what you want to do. If not, I mean, you don't have to use this balloon. You can you can do whatever you want. Um, just, you know, obviously, whatever you want to put on the front. So anyway, so these are done. Um, I'm also going to use glue and tear and tape. All right. Just so you know that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the base here. And we need a bone folder. And we are going to um, score, oh, well, I already scored. We're going to fold these um, score marks. All right. And you know what else I didn't, I didn't get out. Let me see where, real quick, um, a corner rounder. All right. So what I did is I rounded these corners because I just think it looks nice. It gives it kind of a nice finished look. All right. The problem with this that I had with my Christmas ones. Let me just show you what I did. I made a little mistake. Um, when I went to do these, the tops, um, 
I kept rounding the bottom instead of the top. So I eventually just rounded them all, um, and that looks pretty good too. So, But this one down here, I did not round the corners because I wanted it to match the corners. So that's what my intention was with this one, but um, I screwed up and stamped them, and, and um, I had already rounded the corners, so um, I just rounded the other corners, and that turned out fine. So you can do either one. You can round all the corners, or you can just round um, two of the corners. Um, it doesn't matter. I think it's going to look good whichever way you do it. All right, so I did round um, those corners. And so these are going to go, one's going to go on the top, one's going to go on the bottom. So um, you just, if it's directional or whichever way you want to do, just make sure you know which way you want it to go. All right. And um, since I did green, I want the green to show here. So I'm going to flip this this way. Um, of course, it's probably still going to be... Um, it probably doesn't really matter that much, but I want this granny apple green to show here. So um, anyway, so now I'm going to round these corners here because this is the way I want it. All right. I'm going to round the bottom. Okay, so that's going to go on here. And then this one, I'm going to round the top. All right, so that's going to go on here like so. This is so easy, it's just not even funny. All right, it's just quick. And then, of course, the inside, you can do either way. You can round them both or just round two. And I'm not writing anything. I'm not stamping anything on the inside today. I'm just going to um, leave it a happy birthday, and we can just round it um, later. So I don't know why that didn't quite um, get rounded quite as much as I wanted it to. Probably didn't have it lined up quite right, but that's okay. This is fine. Um, so anyway, um, we're just going to glue these on pretty simply here. So um, this is how we want it. So we want to make sure we get in the right, right side here. And by the way, um, if you've seen my previous videos, um, when I have mentioned that I don't like the Tombow glue because it's so sticky. I mean, I like the way it works. It, it sticks well, and I love the bottle. And it's just so sticky. If you saw my videos when I, very, when I first started out in January, I called it my sticky, sticky glue because I just couldn't stand it. It gets on my fingers. And uh, one of my videos a while back, I said I was going to try to use the empty bottle and put my scotch um, tacky glue in it and see if that worked. Well, uh, it works like a charm so far. I haven't had any problems with this bottle. So um, if you don't care for the Tombow, save the bottle and clean it all out and put whatever glue you want in the bottle and keep it because um, I'm definitely going to do that when I'm done with this. I mean, I do use it once in a while. It's a good glue. I just don't like how it doesn't stop being tacky on your fingers. So um, it is a good glue if you like it, um, but definitely um, save your bottles if you have a, a different uh, glue that you like better. And uh, so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Like, like I said, this is working like a charm so far. Um, so I'm happy about that. And so anyway, so now we're going to get this on. Just like that. All right. So there's so far. And then I'm going to put the white in here. All right, and then we're going to take um, tear and tape and just run this along um, the edges. Oops, I was off camera there. Sorry. I'm going to put the um, tear and tape on the edges right here. You could use the glue if you want to. Um, a matter of fact, maybe I'll just do that. Um, 
I think that as long as you put a tiny little uh, line of glue, it'll be fine. Um, you just don't want to put too much because you need to have to make sure that you've got that space for your gift card to go in. Um, so that's going to go here. So you just want to make sure that you don't get too much glue and glue this shut because this has to have a lot of space to get in there because it does glue it down pretty tightly. So you really just, if you're going to do the glue, you just make sure you just do a tiny little bit. And I'm going to just go ahead and try that and see. I think that'll be just fine. All right. All right, just like that. Just as long as it doesn't seep out, okay? All right, that should be fine. But you definitely have to leave it, make sure that it's dry. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, so tear and tape or glue, either one. Just be careful with your glue. And then... Um, of course, we're going to glue this on. I thought about um, adding a little more color to this, but I think with the uh, background, I, th I think it's okay. And then we're going to have our belly band behind it as well. Um, so I wasn't sure whether I should add color to that or not. Um, I think it'll be fine. It might be a little bit boring, but um, I think it's okay for now. Um, hmm. if I was live, I'd be asking your opinions. Anyway, I'm just going to glue this on here like this. All right. So what you do for your belly band, okay, what I do is I turn it upside down and I line this up in the middle to the edge here. And then you're just going to lightly bend it back and bend it around like this and line those up all right and then just kind of crease it don't use your bone folder because you you want it to be loose enough that you're going to be able to slide it on okay so once you do that then just add a little bit of glue here and make sure that you line those edges up so that it's straight and there we go all right, and you slip this right on. Like that. And then what I did is I lined up just a piece of tear and tape right up the middle of this. So I used my, um, my little grid here and just flipped it over like this. And I do like to use my um, larger tear and tape and I just put a strip right down the middle like so all right and then just take that off and line that right up in the middle top to bottom and side to side and that is it I mean you know how easy that is very quick um, so there we go we Got a birthday one. Um, so we've got our little truck here, put this back together. And our Christmas ones. And then our little birthday one that we did today. This could have been just a little bit. Um, I could have done that belly band just a little bit tighter. So um, I could just go and just um, crease those edges a little bit better. Maybe that will help. There we go. That fits a little tighter. That'll hold it down a little bit better. Anyway, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick, quick little tutorial. And um, like I said, um, check out Jackie's um, blog post down below. Um, also, I have my um, hostess code and my shop link and all of that down below and all the products that I used for each one of these um, cards. So that is it. Have a great week and God bless. Bye bye.